the Waterville City Council voted Tuesday to allow the Mid-Maine Homeless Shelter to put $200,000 in American Rescue Plan Act funding towards the cost of running the shelter, instead of the rehousing program the money was originally intended for. The shelter's program director, David Savetsky, says the shelter has to reallocate the money to avoid closing down. The operating costs of the low barrier shelter have gone, gone up so much that um, we weren't we potentially weren't going to be able to remain open. The funds were initially awarded to the shelter in 2021 to be used for the master leasing program, which would allow people to be placed in an apartment instead of going to a shelter. So the master leasing program was going to assist some folks in getting rehoused through the shelter itself renting or leasing the units from the landlords. That's not off the table. The mid Maine homeless shelter is a low barrier shelter, meaning it welcomes anyone in need regardless of their background, 24 hours a day. And Savetsky says the demand for that kind of help has increased over the last few years. Our lengths of stay have gone essentially through the roof. In 2019, our length of stay was about approximately 35 nights, and now it's probably about 75 nights. With operating costs now covered, Savetsky says the shelter can remain open for the foreseeable future. However, city officials say they are hoping the shelter will receive more funding from the state. This is a, this is a state funding issue, and um, I know there are a couple of, of bills in the legislature, so right now we're waiting for those to kind of come to fruition. In Waterville, David Ledford, ABC 7 and Fox 22 News.